Two weeks back while listening to the Tim Ferriss show where Hugh Jackman was the guest, I heard about the 85% rule and it transformed the way I looked at doing things. If you guys might have ever came across Tim Ferriss, whether it is his podcast or his book, The 4-Hour Workweek, or even his YouTube channel, then you would know that he is an endless source of wisdom for many areas of life. And this episode with Hugh Jackman was more of the same. In this particular episode, they discussed about the 85% rule, like by giving it your 100%, all the time gets you less than 80% results. Carl Lewis, an American former track and field athlete who was born on July 1, 1961, won 9 Olympic gold medals, 1 Olympic silver medal, and 10 world championships medals, including 8 gold. He is one of only 3 Olympic athletes who won a gold medal in the same individual event in 4 consecutive Olympic Games. A sprint coach was studying Carl Lewis for a year and couldn't understand why Carl was always last or second last at the 40 meter mark, but then go on to win the 100 meter sprint and eventually he realized that Carl Lewis did, did nothing at 50 meter mark. His breathing and form was exactly the same. Other runners would try to push harder, clenching their fists, scrunching their faces, but Carl Lewis stayed exactly the same and go on to breeze past the others. And this was only possible because when other runners tried to give their 100% from the starting and gradually started losing their energy as they were reaching the end. But Carl started the race by giving his 85% and maintained this throughout the race. So when they all were reaching the end, others were able to only give their 70% or maybe 80% and Carl still was at 85% with form and optimizing the muscles. Jackman observed that all great athletes have relaxation in form and he hypothesized that most type A athletes would run faster if they ran at 80% capacity instead of 100%. Hugh Jackman, Stephen Curry, Michael Phelps and Usain Bolt all follow this 85% rule and this is why they are so relaxed all the time. Giving your 100% usually leads to maximum performance and results, but overdoing it can backfire and it can make you burn out easily. So be kinder and patient with yourself. Instead of always consuming some information to be productive, enjoy playing some sports to relax your mind or just give yourself a break when you find yourself over-engaged with some stuff. I know this thing can be hard for some people and even trying 85% rule personally was so different for me but I've seen the results for myself and it could definitely lead to better outcomes in the long run. At the very least, it will help with enjoying life more. And this rule is not only limited to athletes but can easily be used by everyone. You just need to keep giving your 85% every time and in the long run you will see the results if you found this video useful then don't forget to share it with your friends and family and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video